I've pulled the truck into the garage due to Tropical Storm Faye, and so it's raining cats and dogs outside, but I will be able to get the work done from here. For today's project, I'm going to install the tow plate on my airlift bumper. Bolts that need to be removed here, here, here. And I'll have to disconnect and reconnect the trailer power. Believe it or not, my first purchase was this pinball hitch. I thought I needed it for the truck. I really have never used it. So today I'm gonna to put it in storage. I removed the pinball hitch. It's held on by a cotter pin, a bolt, and a washer. I will replace the cotter pin. Don't reuse those, they're cheap. The back end of the pinball hitch is pretty dirty. It's to be expected. You can see the lube fitting on the top. I'm gonna to clean it up before I put it back on. After cleaning with a wire brush, it looks much better. Things were going along great until I tried to take off the power receptacle. It's held on by six screws and bolts. The screws are rusted. I snapped four out of six, and it's just tight and hard to get into. Now I got them free, it's not really a big deal. I'll be able to remove the plate and get the whole uh, receptacle out of the way. All of that just to get this little plate out of the way. As you can see, I removed all the pieces from the airlift bumper. I now have to go to the store and get some of the screws that snapped and a new cotter pin for the pencil hitch, but it's coming along. If you wanna do this to your truck, I suggest you use pneumatic tools. It would make the job so much easier. I'm a weekend warrior. I don't have all the cool stuff. I'm glad I removed the trailer hitch. I like the plate, I like the pencil hitch. Everything is cleaned up and with the Rhino carrier, I think it looks great. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments. A big thanks to our patrons for helping us bring you more unbiased, hands-on reviews. Thank you very much and we'll see you at the range.